Hello and welcome everyone. It's Karen and I have got a new and improved uh, edition of how to make a theater fold card for you. I felt so bad after my last one because I didn't feel like I explained it terribly well so I'm going to give it another go. So I'm just showing you here that this card is actually made out of one piece of cardstock eight and a half by eleven inches and you need four uh, regular A2 size cards, so four, uh, four and a quarter by five and a half inch cards. And I choose to double up on the front one. So you can see there I've got two pieces of that. So I actually used an extra piece of cardstock for it. And I'm just marking here what all the pieces are just to help make it a little bit uh, more self explanatory for you. These two curtain pieces. Uh, need to be trimmed down just about a quarter of an inch on the five and a half inch side uh, and that's just to allow them to slide through the sleeve a little bit better so I'm just gonna trim off that quarter of an inch there and save those quarter of an inch pieces because they're perfect for making the stoppers on the platform so to start with the front I like to start with that and get it out of the way I have actually cut a piece of uh, gray cardstock so mine is really going to be three layers thick I am just simply taping the two front pieces together here because I'm going to use my uh, rectangle die to cut out the center and I believe that die was four and a quarter inches by three inches um, and save those inside pieces because that's what I cut the platform from I've already made my platform and I, I actually cut two of those. <laughs> if you can do two, go for two. Uh, they should be about one inch by four inches and I just uh, embossed with the wood grain and then ink blended. Now here I am showing you that I've marked the centers and I just used one of my smallest circle dies to die cut the notches for your thumb to go in. If you have a, a round paper punch, I think that would work as well. And then I glued all three fronts together. Now these two pieces, these they're the sleeves. They're actually the only thing you need to cut from another piece of cardstock, but they're just a uh, half an inch by, I think it was five and a half inches. And I'm marking uh, just where the edges of the front end, and I'm going to crease there. And that was at about five eighths of an inch on both ends. So there you can see it's a half an inch by five and a half inches and just crease the tops to fit the, the front. So I'm putting glue on these little tabs and they're going to go along the ridged or the notched side of the back of the front piece. And when you put them on, just don't make them too tight. You want a bit of room for the curtain to pull through. Now I choose to cut out those notches because I don't like to feel like I'm pulling the sleeve as well as the curtain. I don't think you have to do this though. But I do it, and you'll never know it can be as messy as you like. Uh, the curtain actually covers all of that. I'll show you that here. So you don't see it whatsoever. Okay, now to make the curtains easy, you're taking both pieces. You're going to crease it in the middle at two and three quarter inches, and also at one and three eighths of an inch. So there you have it, two, one and three eighths and two and three quarters. So do that for both of them. So in the middle, so you're creasing it down the halfway and then halfway over to that edge as well. And then what you're going to do is the one on the right will be just rotate it. And then that's got everything creased in the right spot. Now you're going to make uh, crease all of those, crease it in the middle. They're all mountain folds. So you crease it up and the same with this one. And that's all you have to do for those curtain folds. Although I do, you'll see this, it's coming up. I, I really crease and fold all my paper, um, movable paper parts. I just think that they work better if you keep on creasing and folding and manipulating those those folds as best you can so you'll see here I'm going over them again and really working the folds so that they will move a little more easily 
So this is how the folds will go together on the card. So that is the back and where it's creased, you've made those two creases, those will go on underneath. Now here I'm just marking the top and the bottom along, I've kind of centered those pieces where I, I feel like it's fairly centered on that back piece and I just make a little mark uh, where the top and the bottom are and that will help when you go to glue everything down a bit later. So now this is another four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece. It's cut from the same cardstock as the front. And this I'm going to put on the front of my uh, folded pieces. So on the front there. And you can see I just spattered some of that starry sky, that Ganze Tombe or Kiritaki Tombe. Well, what is that? <laughs> it's that starry sky uh, paint anyway. I'll put it in the details below. And I'm trying to decorate it here. So I'm using these dies. They're from Memory Box, the Alpine Trees. And I've used some from this Cabin Snow Globe set as well. And when you're doing the decorating on the front, you just want to be careful. It's going to get cut in half. So you can't have anything crossing that midline. So that Santa sleigh needed to be moved out of the way a little bit and it'll get cut right down the center. So you can see that there. I've glued everything down and I'm just using a Nouveau Shimmer pen just to, you know, put some color on or sparkle on the trees. So now I've moved to the inside. I wanted this car to be outside on the front and then inside the house or the cabin on the inside and so I'm using Wild Honey Distress Oxide ink and I'm just ink blending over that middle uh, section of the two curtains and the middle it's about the middle uh, two-thirds I'd say of the of the back you can see you know just put your card together and you'll see where to where to do the ink blending now here I I'm going to show you how I made my notches for the platform. The easiest way is to fold these pieces together. And I just used some pretty old masking tape for this. But uh, it makes it so much easier than trying to measure from up and down and across. So you can see that they're all lined up and you want that platform to go towards the back. Uh, not to the front of the stage but to the back so I'm just making a little line where it would end and here you can see I I'm gonna cut this with my uh, craft knife and just extend that line just a little bit so it's a little easier for that platform to slide through so it's a little longer than the width of the platform and I yeah, it did go through. <laughs> and so I now I'm going to cut a second little line just to give it a bit more um, room for the platform to move freely. So there you can see it's evenly spaced at the back. It, it slides through easily enough. And now this is how this is going to get glued together. So the folds go on the bottom and all you're going to glue is that first flap on the curtains. So I'm lining everything up here and I'm going to fold it all down. Really at this point if you put a piece of masking tape holding those two front edges together you would be wise. I flipped mine over and I'm putting glue on those um, outer flaps on the left and right. And then I will turn everything over and line it up uh, with those little notches that we've made or the little nick marks at the top and bottom. And I'm putting a piece of masking tape here. I realized, oh, that would be smart. But if you had done this ahead of time, I think that would be even smarter. And then all you have to do is uh, line it up between those two lines that you've made a, a mark on the background. I find that uh, I really want the middles to go to meet up because it kind of spreads this card. So I was really focusing on keeping the middle together. 
and not making sure that they were just touching the outer edges of the back. So I was more focused on keeping the middle together. So now you're ready to decorate the inside. Um, the next step is I've put the platform there and I'm trying to show you here, you can't glue things too far out to the side. So I would keep whatever you put on the platform in that center area because when the card folds down, the platform slides and that fold will, it, it's got to be able to fold down. So I'm putting the second stopper on. I had already done the first stopper, so I'm sorry I didn't include that, but I did a practice run on this first and I'd, I had already started this platform and had the, the first stopper done. But I'm just putting some glue there and all you want is it to be a little bit uh, wider than the width of the slit that you've made just so it won't pull through. So I'm just making sure it's well sealed. <clears throat> and I've stuck all my little images on. I've got all these images are from different stamps that Santa is a Gerda Steiner Designs one. Uh, puppy, puppy Kisses for Santa. A lot of those little presents are, well, they're from all the different card Christmas stamp sets that I've got. Here now you're going to slide these sleeves, the curtains, through those sleeves. And that's really all you have to do for this card, quite honestly. You don't, you could leave it at that and you'd be okay. It's really quite fun. It will stand up very nicely. It stays open. Um, so probably for the recipient, they could leave it open on a, on a shelf. Now, for my sentiment, I found this sentiment from, it's a uh, Your Next Stamp one from Santa's Helpers, I believe it was called. And that's a pink fresh dye that I used, uh, noteworthy frames to cut it out. And on the back, I'm just showing you there, you can leave it like it is. You can write on the back. I just prefer to have an extra piece of cardstock there. So I've cut one that's six inches by four and a quarter. And I'm just going to put a crease half an inch in from the side. <clears throat> and I'm just creasing that down. And then I used my tape runner to uh, put a little bit of tape along the edge and lined it up with the back right edge of my card and that was it. So that is the card. It's actually a really fun kind of a card to receive so I hope that you know this will inspire you to give it a try. It's uh, not as hard as I made it sound I think in my last video. <laughs> I hope I've improved anyway. So thank you all so much for joining me and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.